You mentioned that you spent your free time flying kites. These kites, we used to make them ourselves, and they were big kites, and then fly the kite. And that kite will keep on flying up and up, and higher and higher and higher. At one point, when the kite is so high, it looks so small. But you need always someone there to sit, either holding that thread or watching the thread, more the thread than looking at the kite. There was an experience there. So we did this since we were very, very little. And once in a while, of course, one kid would not be able to handle it. And and the kite started coming down and then the crashes somewhere. <laughs> Would everyone be upset with that kid? No, because the excitement of making another one mm -hmm. is greater than, than just keeping the kite up. So homework, the kite, soccer, sometimes boxing, wrestling. Those were your activities yeah. when you were a teenager? Yeah and drawing and painting, and then go to the art center and continue doing sculpture and drawing and, and reading. Sometimes I take a day off just to read. And many times I used to finish a book in the same day. So you were very young when you were doing so much. We didn't have TV at the time. Even when TV came along, I didn't care for it because I was already in that direction. So as a child, you need to be busy. And usually it's uh, an activity, always an activity. And also I used to have chores. I have work at home, buying certain things. It's part of it to get up very early go to the bakery and buy fresh bread. And I remember the first day they sent me to buy food. I ended up buying a soccer ball, <laughs> little soccer ball. <laughs> and we started playing with my friends. <laughs> but I learned. So I grew up the way other kids grew up at the time. Here you go from tugging on a kite string to dressing up and going with some older artists and showing your work. Struggle with clay. Fascinating life. Building sculptures, learning how to build structures and so on. And exhibiting. 